This is the latest Nissan Altima and it's a well-to-do sporty sedan that's got its work cut out for it. Every mainstream automaker builds a car that competes with the Altima for the hard-earned cash of family-minded Canadians. Camry, Accord, Malibu, Sonata, 200, Fusion 6, Optima and Passat are only a few examples of the Altima's competition. In a lot of ways, family sedans are all the same. That's why, when effectively competing in a hugely crowded market, it's important to attract shoppers by setting yourself apart. And that is something the Altima does in a number of ways. First thing you'll notice on a test drive, the interior. It sets the Altima apart by way of a clean, tidy and focused design rather than an overly depthy, intricate and highly decorated one. There's a refreshing sense of simplicity in here and it's an athletic and modern cabin you can relax in. It's also easy to enter and exit, has plenty of room and a largely intuitive layout to the controls. There's a heap of storage too, including a dual tiered center storage console and the biggest glove box I've ever seen. Second way the Ultima sets itself apart with a laundry list of innovative features. Link up your data equipped phone and you can check for weather updates, gas prices and even flight information via Google right from the dashboard. This backup camera cleans itself with a drop of washer fluid and some compressed air so it's always clear. And when you're inflating the tires the horn even honks so that you know you've reached the proper pressure. Ultima even warns you if there's a car in your blind spot or if you're drifting out of your lane. The list goes on. The powertrain helps to set Ultima apart too. This up-level model got Nissan's highly acclaimed 3.5 liter V6 with dual variable overhead cams and a robust 270 horsepower. That output is handled by the latest version of Nissan's continually variable transmission or CVT. Since it has no actual gears, the CVT provides power on a smooth and endless surge without pausing for gear shifts. This improves fuel economy and refinement among other things. For the latest Altima engineers even got inside of the transmission and made some mechanical renovations, improving the spread of available gear ratios, lightening it up and reducing internal friction. They also revamped the CVT's computer brain to make it smarter. Result? More refinement and more responsiveness. The CVT isn't a favorite amongst enthusiasts, but this one, which also features paddle shift capability, is excellent. And that's because in addition to the fuel economy benefits, it also turns the Altima into a bit of a performance weapon. See, with a regular automatic, you put your foot down and has to think, then complete a gear shift in this, you just get an instantaneous forward burst of power at any part of the throttle. So passing and merging is dealt with easily. The end effect to you as the driver is that this thing absolutely goes like bananas anytime you put your foot down. On the handling course, Ultima proves set up well for touring first and handling second. It stays tidy in emergency maneuvers even if it likes to throw its weight around. It's not devoid of any entertainment value and push, but it feels more like a muscle sedan than an all-out precision handling weapon. And it's got heaps of power right at the tip of your toes for the straight stretches. It puts it down nicely when you fire out of some corners too. Man, is this thing ever boot. And it's comfy too. Ultima does ride with a firmly comfortable, very well damped feel on just about anything. Suspension is set towards the luxury side of the equation, but without making you feel like you're driving a great big wad of mayonnaise down the road. Brakes were powerful and fairly precise, though I did wish for a bit more feel and sportiness from the steering. Other notes, the Bose stereo system is clean, loud and hits hard, and it was very much appreciated on long highway drives. Ultima's also got one of the biggest rear seats I've ever visited, and the heated steering wheel and remote start system were great to have during my late fall test drive. I did leave the Ultima wishing for a smaller turning circle as I felt at times like I was trying to park a bus, and it could be maybe a bit quieter at speed. But end of the day, be sure to give this one a test drive if you're after a uniquely muscular driving experience, generous amounts of space, innovation, and refined performance wrapped up in a relaxing cabin. Pricing starts under 24 for the four-cylinder and under 30 for the big V6. Thanks for watching.